Hey, this is Mike from SparkFun Engineering. I'm going to show you how to assemble our new six pin pogo adapter for the AVR ISP programming headers. We've got all of our tools set up here. We've got a soldering iron, we have the kit, screwdriver, third hand for holding the parts as we work on it, and a little bit of tape, some just plain old desk tape. So inside the kit, we've got six pogo pins, a little surface mount JST adapter. Don't worry, surface mount soldering for this kit is really easy. A dual row three by two programming header, a couple of plastic standoffs, some screws, the actual circuit board, which is scored and we'll be breaking that in half later. And then this Molex six pin wiring harness, which will allow you to hook this up to any Arduino compatible board and use the Arduino as ISP programming sketch to turn that into an ISP programming board. First step we're going to do here is we're going to put this JST connector on the board. The reason for the JST connector is that it provides you with a port to power your board if the board is not already self-powered. This is surface mount. It's really easy to put on. Just go ahead and touch your iron to one of the pads until you get a little bit of solder flowing onto that pad. Put the connector in place, melt the solder again, then touch each other pad, a little bit of solder on there, a little bit of solder on that one for some structural support. Same deal over here. And you're done. So the next step, we're gonna put this six pin header on here. That guy goes right there in the middle of those three sets of pads. Flip it upside down, tack down each pad. Next step, we're gonna put on this uh, six pin single inline header for the Molex. Put it in, flip it over, tack each pad. We've reached the part where we break the board you can see where it's scored here. A little snap, rock it a bit, and now we've got two pieces. The two pieces stack like so. And the way that I've found to do this most easily is to take a little itty bitty piece of your cellophane tape and just put that over this. And you'll see in a moment why I've done that. It'll keep the pogo pins from falling all the way through those holes, uh, which will allow them to be spaced more evenly. So now we're gonna go ahead and just punch through these screws. Screw down our standoffs. Orientation of these two boards is important. Uh, if you have this turned around the wrong way, the holes won't line up. If you have this flipped like this, then the JST connector will be providing power to the wrong pins. So make sure that you've got it on like you see here. Now we're gonna drop these pogo pins through one at a time. Make sure that they go through the top hole and the bottom and into the bottom hole. They won't go through the bottom hole because the bottom hole is covered with tape, as you remember. Positioning of these pins is fairly forgiving because the, they're pogo pins and, uh, and they can be kind of scooted around a little bit to uh, get them to make contact with the pads on any given board that you're programming. This is where a third hand really comes in handy. And just go around, tack each one of them individually. Flip it over. Peel your tape off. And you can see that the pogo pins are not coming up through the hole very far. You just want to put your iron on there for a little while and get it nice and warm, and then a little bit of solder, and the solder will just flow right down inside the hole around that pin and make you have a good connection. And there you have it. Your pogo adapter is assembled and ready to go. So here is an example is our LilyPad ProtoSnap uh, Lily Twinkle board. It has this little six pin header connector on the back, just some bared vias for the pins to connect to. You can see there's a tiny little pin one marking there. That corresponds to our little pin one line here. Set this in place and then just kind of give it a little half twist. All of the pogo pin tips will have found a seat in one of the vias. This is an Arduino FIO board. Again, you'll see there's a little single line there that marks where pin one is. That matches to a, a single line here that marks where pin one is. Set it down, little half of a twist, and you're seated, and you can go ahead and hit the program.